And now weather with Brandy Erickson on KPVI News 6, your news source for East Idaho. Good morning everyone. Here is a live look outside. We have a few passing clouds and it's actually getting darker. We are going to see a little bit more cloud cover moving in from the south. Our temperatures are very warm right now. 68 in Pocatello, 69 in Blackfoot, 68 in Idaho Falls. We have high pressure with a lot of cloud cover and moisture, especially on the eastern portion side of the state. So moving right on into western Wyoming with more moisture and the high pressure is just pulling in that monsoonal flow. We've been talking a lot this this summer about the monsoon of flow and with all the high pressure we've been experiencing that's why we've gotten those thunderstorms and a little bit more moisture especially for the highlands here is some of that uh, this is our radar map and this shows us all of the moisture and in the lower valley you can see there is definitely a few showers lingering around Pocatello and Blackfoot. Income experienced some light rain this morning. Right now in the highlands we have a lot especially near the Caribou Highlands some heavier downpours Montpelier and then Afton also getting hit right now just on the outskirts of town in Jackson Hole Wyoming a few showers so we definitely are experiencing a lot of rain and cloud cover right now but high temperatures today are supposed to be in the 90s. So 92 and 93 degrees, 67 and 62 the overnight lows and precip so far has been pretty dry. We've seen a little bit of sprinkles around town in Pocatello, but not even not even enough to uh, call it a trace. Satellite radar map of the nation, monsoonal flow, pretty clear in the Midwest, a few showers for Texas moving right on into Arkansas and also some scattered showers for the Great Lakes. Mostly sunny, a chance of thunderstorms. Again, very warm, 93 in Pocatello and in Blackfoot, 92 in Idaho Falls, 91 in Rexburg, and 89 in St. Anthony. Chance of more thunderstorm activity, but again, mostly sunny skies are also in the forecast today. So a mix of everything. 30% chance of scattered storms right now. We're seeing more showers near Soda Springs, but a high temperature today of 84, 85 in Driggs, and 79 in Island Park. Tonight, mostly clear skies. We'll see windier conditions, though, up to about 25 miles per hour, 65 for the low in Pocatello, 60 in Blackfoot, slightly cooler in Idaho Falls at 58, 54 in Rexburg, and 53 in St. Anthony. And then isolated storms will still linger in the mountains and highlands tonight. It'll also be breezy, dropping down to about 49 in Island Park, 54 in Driggs, 50 in Jackson, 51 in Soda Springs. Now for tomorrow, sunny skies. It'll be a hot day at 93 in Pocatello, 91 for Blackfoot, 93 in American Falls. Bit of a repeat day, but not as much cloud cover or moisture to start out the day. We're also going to have lighter winds. So 91 in Idaho Falls, 90 in Rexburg. It will definitely feel warmer and then nice and warm with sunny skies for the high country. 85 Driggs, 86 Jackson, tomorrow Malad. 92 and 84 in Arco. Let's get to that six day forecast. See what we have in store for the weekend. We're going to have 90s continue throughout the weekend. And then we're also going to see uh, our temperatures just stay in the mid 90s for next week as well with sunny skies. Idaho Falls, same type of pattern. The moisture today, 93. Tomorrow, 91, 92 on Sunday. And again, mid 90s for Monday and Tuesday with sunny skies throughout the week.